I was 17 when I was standing at this open grave on an ice cold December day, my warm tears were flowing over my cheeks and I couldn't believe it that he was dead. And my friend, she let a rose fall into the grave on the, on the coffin and she whispered, I love you. And it was just a punch in my face that life is not forever. I mean, 17, you think this is forever and we have all the time, but we didn't. We, we had to say goodbye to our friend. He was killed in an avalanche and it was a group of 10 people and four died. So four families were grieving and couldn't believe that this, this beloved ones wasn't coming home. And six families celebrated that they actually came home and they just went went um, by a catastrophe in their families. So it was just a real wake up call that every day has a meaning and we we can't waste our time here because we never know how long we're here and we have no guarantee and it just continued. I was at funerals after funeral after funer funeral with uh, bike accidents, another avalanche, some some ski tour accident, then another bike accident, a suicide. It was just devastating standing at these graves. So such young young people. It's too early. Everybody said that's too early, but we just never know. And then the best friend of my sister died because of a heart attack when she was 25. That's, that was 11 years later after the first funeral. And that was enough. It was like, okay, from now on, I just do what I want. I say yes when I mean yes. I know I talk a lot about that. I say no when I mean no. I do what I want. I follow my dreams. I. I, I celebrate life, I celebrate every single day and that's why it's so really important to me to, to have joy in my everyday life because I don't know when it's over, we just don't know and I hope and I plan for becoming a really old, awesome, over 100 years old, 111 is my goal fit and healthy, full of energy. I won't retire at 65, which is normal in Switzerland. I want to work. I want to inspire. I want to enjoy every second of my breath and my heart beating, but I just don't know how long it's going. And you don't know too. So if you say, let's kill some time or this week sucks or I invite you to reframe that and say, okay, what do I want? And, and go for it. Maybe you know the book of Bronnie Ware. She was, uh, or she is, I think she's not working as a, as a nurse anymore, but she was working in a hospice and, and just what was there for dying people. And she wrote the book, The Five Top Regrets of the Dying. And I want to read them to you. I can recommend this book highly to you because it's so touching to read these stories. But uh, the five regrets of the dying, the top five were, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. I mean, if you have a job, if you just live a life your father wanted for you, your mother, your partner wants you to work there and bring home a lot of money or whatever it is, which life do you want to live? And they regretted that they lived a life somebody else expected for them. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. So that's this point. How is that for your life? I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. Saying I love you, saying what you mean. That's a challenge for a lot of people, but they regretted that before they were dying. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends and I wish that I had let myself be happier. And that crushed me the most because 
that's free, you know, feeling joyful, having a happy attitude and, and a focus on, on creating a life you love and, and having good days because you don't know when it's over. That's just absolutely in your hands. Everything is in your hands. And I wrote a lot of questions down for on my blog. If you watch this on YouTube, come over to, to choicemycompass.com slash blog or joy blog, you will find it on the website and um, read through the questions and pick the ones out you you like or you think like, oh, wow, that's yeah, I, I want to think about that and journal about that. I invite you that to write these things down. It's so eye opening to take the time and reflect and think about what's important to me and what do I want in all these topics. So these five points, I just wrote down a lot of questions. You find them on the blog. I won't read them out loud to you now, all of them. But just do you like your job? Do you like what you do all day long? And if not, what could you change? Maybe you can change your attitude at this job or it's time to say goodbye and do something else. You know, it's I know it's not easy sometimes, but like feeling crushed every day for eight hours is not healthy and it's not fun. So. Think about what do you want in your job and um, who who do you pl want to please with this job? I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected me. And how do you balance work and fun? Or is fun already happening at work? You know, it's it's again so many possibilities and you have to find out for yourself. How do I want to create a work life balance? Or I say work is not not life, so it's work life and private life. And how can you combine the two together that you feel joyful every day? I know it's it's uh, Ronya, you're so like you you don't know reality. You're so kitschy, sweet, and and over the top. No, I'm not. It's just not the the case. I want to enjoy my work. If you choose to work something and it sucks and it's okay for you that's no problem but if you are suffering and every day you're thinking like oh man i have to go back there today and monday is is just the worst and friday is the best why not change something not today and not tomorrow maybe but but as soon as possible or better sooner than later and about the friends, you know, think about who is important in my life. Who is my best friend, my best friend, male, female, who are the, the in my inner circle? And do I see them enough? Do I text them? Do I spend time together? Like, oh, wow, I didn't see him for three years. So let's invite him over or for a weekend or or just see you on on the screen and have a video chat for half an hour, three hours, the whole day long, you know, connect with the people who are dear to your heart and don't let it slip away because you're so busy at work and I have no time. Of course, again, there are situations in your life where it's just not possible to have all the plates in, in the air, but but focusing on what's important for yourself and and clearing out the priorities is so helpful. And friends, family, our loved ones are so important to us. The connection is so important. And you know who is important to yourself. And maybe you say, I'm so important. I need a lot of me time. I'm an introvert. That's perfect. So don't go to parties which stress you out. Do what's good for yourself. And the last one, how much joy do you allow in your life? How joyful are you? okay with you know if it's like no no no, life is not a picnic and um it's not fun it doesn't it's not supposed to be fun it's um it's hard work and reality hits hard and all the hardness and the the struggle and the stress of course it's not airy fairy always pink and, and um bubbles and sparkles but Again, you can you can be joyful at a at a stressful job and just be kind to everybody everybody around you, instead of um, 
yelling around and calling everybody names and and just stressing everybody around you again and then the stress levels rises you can decide to be kind and supportive and take care of yourself all in the same time and just enjoy that you are alive that's my big motivation it's just that and i think you don't need a wake up call you don't need an illness um uh, an accident some catastrophe happening to think like oh wow i lost everything or i will die in two years the doctors say don't trust the doctors just just for that you have so much power over your body and over your thoughts so you are in the captain's seat you have the steering wheel in your hands and you just have to find out what you want first but you don't need a wake-up call punch in your face something really bad happening to you to change your life you're watching this video now let's just change your life from tonight tonight today like what do you want and what do you want to change um, immediately or soon or later and then step by step go for it and if you want support if you want to think through all your life's areas like money and adventure and spirituality um, career love life um, family and friends how you live all the different topics in your in your life's arena if you want to think them through and get all the tools i collected in the last 25 years i mean 17 i really started there reading books going to seminars um, courses I, I was just longing for information. What is life about? What's what's this whole thing about? What's the, the universe? It was spiritual and technical and all the tools I love and I really use every day. They are in the Joy Academy. And if you are for a full year committed to, to take your time, think things through, learn new things, try new things. And in the end, of course, you kick the things out, the methods, the, the the techniques you don't like, you kick them out, but you tried them. That's the big difference. And then you you implement habits you love, you implement your, your mindset and you are just celebrating life every day. That's what I do. And that's what sometimes is annoying to, to some people, but sorry, not sorry. I know how fast it could be over so that's that's my motivation today i want to have a good day and it can be a totally boring day or a totally normal day boring i i don't know when i was bored the last time but like i'm at my office i had lunch at the takeaway right next to to my office i prepared dinner i had a nice evening with mika nothing was happening but i enjoy being alive and that's what i want to invite you to and if you think yeah joy academy i don't know if you deliver it like i would like it to to have delivered just check me out in the 21 day challenge and um, in there i have different topics from the joy academy and i will inspire you again to think about your life for example you visit your future self or if you don't want to sign up for the challenge you can think about what would people say and and um, talk about on my at my funeral what is my legacy what what do i want to have them to talk about and if you are like me and not liking funerals at all then please imagine yourself as your future self like very very old for me it's like i'm 100 years old sitting on my porch overlooking the beautiful sea in Japan because I have a retreat center there and I live live part-time in Japan and part-time in Switzerland like imagine like oh I have this and I experienced that looking back on your life alive is um, in my opinion such more just more fun than uh, imagining your funeral but either way you choose you think what you want, you think what you want to look back to, and then you implement step by step what you want to change. And if you want my help, call me. Also private coaching, I'm offering that. I'm looking forward to meeting you. I love you for seeing, watching this video, for taking this time. 
And um, this week, as I told you, I go to the to the mountain cabin. I just don't. Did I say it already? The Choyo meter now in the video is empty, but I will post it filled out in the in the blog post because I go to the mountains and um, I will have an awesome week. So this will be on the blog post filled out with all my little and big adventures and what I'm grateful for. Fill out the Choyo meter. That's again, such a simple tool. Just download it and um, fill it out for yourself. And you will feel more grateful, more joyful when you do this exercise over an amount of time, let's say three months every week and you will feel, feel the difference. And that's what I'm such a big fan of. It's so simple, you just have to do it. It's joyful, you try it. If you don't like it, ditch it. But you are the captain of your ship and let's create a life which is, if it's to over tomorrow, it's okay. It's not fun, I want to be here longer. But, but today I'm celebrating that I am alive and I do what I want and I say what I want and I'm a kind, heartfelt person, which is um, doing good to the world and to everybody around you. So that's my take this week. Read the book of Bronnie Ware and thank you that you are here. Thank you that you're taking time for yourself and for your thoughts and journal and see you next week. Bye bye. Have a wonderful time. Celebrate that you are alive. Every breath. Bye bye.